Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. So, last time, last video, I saw there was this exit, and I will show you. It actually goes to kind of like this kind of thing. Like, what's this old factory test track? Oh! Car is incomplete, cannot perform this task. What am I missing? Missing part, serpentine belt. Huh. Okay. Um. How do I get out of this? Uh, escape. Okay, I see. Then click on your garage. So that's pretty cool. So what's missing here? There's a serpentine belt missing on this vehicle. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna have to. Okay, there we go. Is it O for repair order? Part not discovered. Engine's working, but it's choppy. Oh, okay, look at. It. There's all the stuff here. But this one we don't know. Okay, it's not a problem. So let's see here. So if we actually lower this guy, and then what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. So basically this episode, I'm not going to do anything special. Just going to play this game, enjoy the music, talk about the game maybe if I think about talking, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, how do I know I'm in to assemble mode, so we need this thing. We need Serpentine Bell A. Do we have one? Oh, yes, we do. Uh, let's go to O repair order. What's the 70%? Okay, cool. So the part we have, we can use that one. Okay, and we can put this back. I think what I was doing is I was taking a part see what's wrong with the engine but, but I think we can take on the old test track at least that's what I'm assuming let's go back to this side and sometimes you have to kind of get the angle of these things just right oh, what's going on here I can I assemble oh there we go okay and I think that's it uh, it's gonna take me a while to get used to the controls Okay, let's see if I can take this car to the test track. Cannot start engine. So, does that tell me that there's something wrong with the engine? <laughs> if I go O, oh, engine is working but it's choppy. It said it's not working. These are easy. So this is my problem is I'm stuck. I don't know how to test the engine out. Uh, I don't know how to use my tools. I know there's like tools toggle conditions mode. So maybe there's a belt there not working. So if we go into disassemble mode, maybe we need to get rid of, let's see, um, examine mode. Look at parts, examine condition, right click. I think we already did 17%. We need a new one. So I think that's what we were unscrewing, uh, disassemble mode. Okay, so let's go back to this. So we were unscrewing stuff on purpose. Let me take that one off, take the water pump pulley, take serpentine belt, and then we go assemble mode. Serpentine belt B, serpentine belt B. Okay, let's get out of that. Let's buy serpentine belt B. See, this is my problem with this game, is I have to keep going back and forth, right? And serp uh, Serpentine Belt B V8, I think. Yeah, this one. Okay, we bought that part. A lot of times I just do this stuff one at a time, but yeah, it's cool. This is... I don't know. I just like this game. Assemble mode. Just have to get used to the controls again, because it's kind of... they're kind of clunky. Okay, we want to put that bad boy there. Okay, now we can put these all these things back the way they were. Put that one in there. Now the engine should work, I think. Now we screw this in. Okay, uh, come on. Okay. Now if I close this, now let's give it a shot. If we go like that, go like that. Cannot start engine. See, I don't know. I don't know how that's supposed to help. Um, let's see here. If I go C for conditions mode, or how about we go three? 
Examine mode. Can be examined by taking off the car. Taking off the car. But what if I don't want to examine it? Huh. Oh wait, is there something wrong inside there? What's that? Is that? Oh, it's a rod inside. Oh, how do we get at this? With the compression tester. Oh yeah, there we go. F2 compression tester. Or do we have to open it up? Oh, there we go. Piston with Conrod. So that's what we gotta fix, I guess. So you think we can just get at it like this? Uh, we go one disassemble mode. So, okay, let's see. Let's just see what we can do. You can almost kind of edit and cut out parts here because it might not be talking. And as we just kind of continue to do this, to do cars. Ah, uh, here we go. Rocker arm. That one's not, that one's not good. Oh, you think I have to take all these off? Oh, man. I'm going to have to take this off. Okay. Okay, I do this. I think we gotta take the whole engine apart to get inside. At least I hope so. And then if we do this one, we should actually open our repair order after this just to see. Oh, here, oh, a round air filter, two carb. Interesting. Well, I know that we need to get inside, right? So we need to open up the engine. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Lots of fun. I don't know what to talk about, really. That's the reality. Let me take this off. Oh, wow. You can probably readjust for the screws t to make it easier, but I don't think it matters. I have a drink here. I want to I wanna hopefully fix this part. So now what? What, you think I have to... Oh, there you go. Valve push rod. Um... No, so gotta take this rocker arm out. And here we go, valve push rod. Okay, and we go three examine mode. Can be examined by taking off the card. Well, that sucks. So now if we go, so what do we need? We need clutch release bearing. Okay, I tell you what, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna write these down and then buy them. Okay, I think I got the parts that I need. We'll, we'll try this here and we'll go from there. How else can we look? Can we go into examine mode? Maybe, can be with compression tester. We already did the test, right? So, if we go F2, and if we, yeah, so that's what I did. Piston with Conrod, valve push rod. Oh, okay, okay. There's these. There's like these pistons. Okay. Interesting. So how do we look at that stuff? Okay. So do I have to keep oil level between maximum and new oils and golden color? Well, old oils back. Okay. So I have to take these things off. Which means that we gotta take all these bad boys out. That sucks. And so then, also we gotta take out, off all the rocker arms. Wow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of continue dismantling this car. You get the picture, the gist of it. And yeah, I'll come back as soon as I got something to talk about. Okay, here we are back again. So I have to get Underneath the vehicle, I have to get at the oil pan. Let's see here, I think I can just take it off. So yeah, so I've been finding com uh, some pieces at 70%. If I open, I can't open the repair order right now. I have to wait till we undo this part. Okay, okay, so that's, I wanna take out a piston, but I had to take apart. Oh, look at that, there's this thing here that needs to get replaced, crankshaft bearing cap. Okay, okay, uh, what else needs to be fixed? 71%, 75, 74, 79. These all look okay. 
Maybe that did take care of it. If I go to the work order, rocker arm, ignition, distributor, rotor, crankshaft, bearing cap, distributor, oil filter, alternator, crankshaft, just try to find the parts, crankshaft. Huh, okay. Uh, gearbox, starter, engine block, accessible from engine, but bay because when I go into the repair order ignition distributor rotor what the heck is that Let's see what the part looks like ignition ignition coil ignition distributor we bought it ignition distributor rotor that's a small piece hey where would that be it'd have to be Somewhere, brake servo, maybe in here. Ignition distributor's cap. Okay, what do we have to take off? This piece, this clip. Okay, uh, how about this? Is it more one clip? Oh yeah, yeah, there's one in the back. Got this. Ah, here we go. Uh, can we go examine mode? We take it off the car. See, it's kind of silly. Okay, so. Now if we reassemble stuff, put that one back, we can put the new one back in, put the distributor cap on, put the clips black, uh, ba uh, black on, bl back on. Okay, rocker arm crankshaft bearing cap. Let's take a look what the rocker arm is. Ah, uh, computer. Oh, rocker. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I think we bought replacement parts for that. It's probably just the one part that we have to replace. Now we gotta put this all back together again. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so that's fine. We go to assemble mode. Let's zoom out a bit. I don't think it's too shabby. We just put this back on. And we'll kind of fix up the engine here. And then I think we will have a chance to do a test run, maybe. Let's see here. This side back on exhaust manifolds oh yes oh yes there's spark plugs there to put back so I tell you what once I'm gonna go ahead and replace the brakes and stuff like that which you've already seen and yeah once I have everything replaced I'll be right back okay so we're continuing on so now I'm doing the two brake drums and then I think we are pretty much complete. I still want to take the car on the test track just to see if it's possible to see if we uncover anything more. So let's replace these. Let's put these back. I've been replacing everything that's at 70% as well just in case. But I don't think that's necessary. I think it's only when it goes below the value that it tells you, right? So. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I know, this game's pretty relaxing. You know, my internet's kind of wonky, so that's why I've been I'm recording this. Hopefully I'll be able to get it uploaded at some point. Well, obviously you'll be watching this if it is, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like a long game. I don't know if I can do very many more Let's Plays or any more like videos on it. Because this is kind of what you do. It's, it's repetitive over and over and over again. And it's just that that's the way it is. That's what the game is like. So let's see here. So this is all fixed. I don't know if this is bonus. I think this is done. Yeah, there you go. Job finished. Let's go take a look at another job here and call it an episode maybe. Let's see here. Let's click on the phone. Okay. Sloppy car steering, loud exhaust. This one seems like it'll be easy. General engine control and repair. The engine's working, but it's choppy. Put new engine oil and filter. Let's do this one. Take that job. Okay, we're back. Here's our wonderful car that we're going to move into one of our bays. But let's actually... Are we able to do this? Old factory test track. Oh, this is cool. How does this work? Oh, up. This is cool. 
Cool. Acceleration. Or do you just have to drive? I didn't know that they had this part of the game. You can actually drive cars? Huh. It's cool. Slalom. What's the suspension? Can we crash the car? That's kind of... Okay, I see. So let's see here. Let's not go too fast so we don't wreck the car more. Okay, and then up. There we go. Okay, we're we're back, and so now, we, oh, this is cool. So now we know there's the outer tie rod and inner tie rod. That's cool. So now if we go, oh, cool. We have to discover a part still, and okay, so this is pretty freaking cool. So yeah, I think we'll call it an episode here. Thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you had some fun on that test track there. I guess we'll call it the old test track. <laughs> cool. So yeah, so I'll see you everybody in the next one. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.